Welcome to Studio Chikara E. Today I'm going to show how to use a tool called Dash Licenses. The uh, purpose of this tool is to identify and check the third party dependencies of your open source project that the licenses and these uh, dependencies are okay to use. The tool is developed by Wayne Beaton at the Eclipse Foundation and you can find it here on GitHub. So the way to get started is to either clone or download this tool and uh, that's what I've done here. So I've, I've downloaded it and I've built it. So it's produced this jar file for me. And this is the jar file I'm going to use to uh, check my project for licenses. And the project I'm um, using for a demo purpose here today is the Eclipse Craso project. And Eclipse Craso is the uh, implementation of the uh, MVC uh, specification at Java E and uh, now going to be the Jakarta MVC specification. So the first thing I'm going to do is to just get a list of the dependencies. And then I, I use the Maven dependency uh, list uh, command and I just uh, gather together all the system provider and compile time dependencies, sort them and uh, pull out the unique ones and put it in a file called uh, Maven Depths. So when this is run, you can see that my uh, Maven depths file has a list of uh, dependencies uh, that come from this project. The ne next step I'm going to do is to run the, uh, the uh, dash license jar. So I'm running with Java dash jar and then the, the jar file and then let's input the Maven dependencies file produced in the previous step. And what th this will do is to check the dependencies to, uh, towards the Eclipse database uh, for, for IP uh, that they've collected over the years, as well as clearly defined. So you can see here, uh, they found 11 items, 10 of them were in Eclipse database, and one it was from uh, clearly defined. And everything is okay, so I don't have to do anything else. What I can do is to check the, the uh, file that uh, the tool produces for me called dependencies, and you can say here, uh, that they are approved and uh, which source they use to approve it. So I hope this was helpful and uh, can uh, give you some help when you check your third-party dependencies in an open source project.